This video demonstrates the performance of a hierarchical model predictive control scheme for a grid-connected cascaded H-bridge inverter. With hierarchical model predictive control, the traditional cost function is removed and the control objectives are optimized hierarchically. Each objective is ranked and a cost tolerance is specified for each objective. Control actions that do not meet the defined cost tolerance of an objective are removed from the optimization set of the following objective. In the control scheme proposed here, the control objectives are ranked respectively as injected output current, switching event minimization, and state frequency minimization. State frequency minimization allows the controller to cycle among redundant states, pulling power evenly from the isolated DC sources. I will now show how the grid-connected cascaded H-bridge maintains stability through multiple transients using hierarchical model predictive control. In the oscilloscope, the green signal is grid voltage, the purple signal is injected grid current, and the blue signal is the output voltage of the cascaded H-bridge. The DC link voltages are set to 190 volts. Currently the power reference is 1 kilowatt. I will now step down the power reference to 500 watts. Within a few samples, the grid current amplitude is decreased to track the new power reference, and stability is maintained. The power reference is reset to 1 kilowatt. In the case of significant grid voltage sags, the controller is programmed to inject 250 VAR while maintaining the power reference. This is shown here. The reactive power injection is evidenced by the leading grid voltage. The reactive power injection is easier to see when I reduce the power reference back down to 500 watts. The controller stops injecting reactive power once the grid returns to normal condition. Finally, the power reference returns to 1 kilowatt.